on YouTube. Look at this table, YouTube. This table's a piece of garbage. I was, I was using it for the bottom half of an office chair for a while, in case you're wondering why it looks like a disaster. And I'm kind of embarrassed to admit that, but office chairs are like a hundred bucks. And I, I ultimately was able to... That's actually a Frankenstein office chair, believe it or not, but the top and the bottom are not from the same chair. You know, because who doesn't want Frankenstein office chairs, right? Anyways, what do we have going on today? We have a 99 cent store only video today. It's Saturday, it's a good day. Actually, it wasn't a great day to go shopping, but it turned out to be not a terrible time. Um, it was really busy, but you know, I was out doing some other errands and my fridge was empty and I thought, you know what? Sometimes I like to get a little bit more, uh, you know, intelligence, if you will. So I don't go a lot on a Saturday at, you know, 1130, but I figured, eh, it's probably going to kind of suck. I'll just try to keep my expectations in check. Just try to chill. No big deal. So I go and there were a lot of people in the store. I think they had four or five checkouts open though. So, you know, normally if I come in early in the morning at 7 a.m., there's only two checkouts open. So, you know, granted it's seven in the morning, it's less than half as busy, right? Because if it was, you know, you can kind of do the math. Like if it's twice as busy and they have twice as many checkouts, it's kind of the same. It was about maybe six to seven times as busy as it is at seven in the morning. But, um, you know, it wasn't bad. They, they were all, they all work pretty hard at the store that I go to. Um, so anyways, didn't, didn't turn out to be a disaster. I thought I was going to be in line for 20 minutes or something awful like that, but they're, I think they've had too many people complain. So every time the lines get too long, they open up another one like really, really fast. I'm, they're probably one of the best stores, at least this individual store is one of the better stores that I've seen um, in that regard. So without further ado, oh, we're going to talk about, we're going to talk about this guy later. This guy was, this was one of the biggest big five purchases I think I've ever made in my life. Um, Anyways, we're going to talk about that in the next video. So don't let's let's go ahead and block that off. I don't want I don't want you guys to get distracted with big five thoughts. So got some TP, obvious reasons. Got some cereal. Maybe I'll do like a little little like collage or something. A little food collage. There we go. All right. I know the cereal's bad. I know I should eat more oatmeal, but kind of kind of been a long crazy week with the holidays and traveling and everything so you know gotta eat some cereal tortillas tengo 30 tortillas auténticas i don't think i've seen that say that word in spanish auténticas yeah authentic tortillas anyways got some of those Got some kind of green bananas. Most of the bananas they had were green. I didn't really need to split these two. When you split them off, they ripen a little faster. So maybe I did mean to split these two. Anyways, two bananas. <laughs> yeah, I feel like doing this whole thing in Spanish now. Dos leches. <laughs> Mira los dos leches a la izquierda. Um, yeah, see, I don't know how to say all these things. I don't know how to say fruit bar in Spanish. Bar de frutas. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Well, got some blueberry ones. I usually get the strawberry, but you know, I'm living wild today buying blueberry. Ah, uh, this is something I've kind of avoided for a really long time. Creamer, um, happens to be some Irish cream. I'm tired of like not ha having coffee without cream and I really, really don't like creamer. Um, I just, it kind of makes my stomach upset and generally just doesn't really sit well with me, but I like cream in my milk more than I like shitty creamer. So, you know, tough first world decisions whether or not to have creamer. Man, that hippo. You know, they say they design cereals so that like, they're looking at your kids, like they're always looking down, you know? I don't know, weird stuff. Hippo's looking at me like Mona Lisa or some shit. Jalapeno poppers, upside down jalapeno poppers, um, or cream cheese pepper bites. They're kind of nasty, but, um, they're made with real cheese, right? You know, they're, uh, you know, it's just, just snacks. Like, come on. I, as far as I know, now I know you, a lot of you guys do cooking stuff. You know, I've seen some cooking stuff, but 
as far as actually being honest with what you actually shop and eat for each week, you know, hoopals, you're, you're allowed to, you're allowed to, you're allowed to criticize hoopals. Cause I know you're like, you know, I, I know like they know you on a first name basis in the organic section of the grocery store. So that's okay. But anybody else besides hoopals, you got to show me your pantry before you talk about my snacks. That's all I got to say about that. Samosas de Chef Ernesto, my favorite Mexican Indian samosas. They're they're super good. They're not am- I mean they're not like amazing. I think they're pretty amazing to be honest, but for for oven food, you know, they're just they're just good. I just I really enjoy them. They kind of have a different flavor, you know, with the coriander and stuff going on. What do they have in here? Um yeah, the coriander is, I mean, they have some fenugreek and thyme. The thyme gives it a little bit, but the coriander definitely gives them kind of a strong, like, multicultural flavor. So, dos samosas. Oh, what else we got? Ooh, some cranberries. These are good. I'm going to try really hard not to eat all of these at once. I will probably eat this bag in the next 48 hours, but I really want them for my oatmeal. So, I'm going to... Man, some people have problems with different vices. I have problems with eating cranberries. Uh, yeah, so I can't. No self-control when it comes to cranberries. Got some sponges. Got to do some dishes. And uh, yeah, these are some pretty decent looking sponges. They're like a they're like a scuff pad and a spo- like half scuff pad, half sponge. Because I don't know about you, but sometimes those little scuff pads that they have on regular cheapo sponges, they're sort of... They're kind of like that thick instead of this thick. So they actually kind of wear down a little quick and I'm not perfect about cook, you know, finishing all my dishes every day, partly because I don't have a dishwasher, partly because I'm not perfect about it. So sometimes food get caked on just a little bit and uh, you know, nice to have a little bit of power. Plus, I don't know if you know this, they're great for the kitchen. Oh, you probably knew that, but they're great for the kitchen, bathrooms, household, and outdoor cleaning. I thought there was going to be a picture of a boat on here. I would use it on boat. Maybe RV. You know, they're really missing out a lot of opportunities. Patio furniture. It should be like great for RVs, boats, patio furniture. I mean, outdoor cleaning kind of counts, but anyways. Oh, I miss marketing. Marketing's fun. You know what that is. And he has a friend. <laughs> My favorite macaroni and cheese. So, see you later, guys. Now I want to do like, I want everything to have a unique entrance. Pork and beans because um, awesome, plus hobo cap. Um, I wish all companies would just, do, this is not that goddamn expensive. I'm, I'm sure the difference between this cap and a regular cap is less than a penny. I would be surprised if it was like five cents or something, but I, I suspect, you know, maybe it's, it can't be that much. It's gotta be let like three or four pennies or two pennies, whatever it is. Campbell's, if you're watching this, and I know you're not, Make everything with the hobo lid. I hate, I hate opening cans. It's not difficult. It's just kind of a pain in the ass. This is 10 times easier and you don't always have a can opener on you, nor do you, should you have to always carry a can opener on you, you know? What, what if you had to have a special opener to open this box or to open that milk? I mean, how ridiculous would that be, you know? It's like the only food product you need a goddamn tool to open. It just, it kind of pisses me off. So anyways, I really appreciate Campbell's and other companies doing this because it's kind of rare to see that, you know? I don't think it's less reliable. I think this thing's gonna pop off by itself. So anyways, that was my can opener rant. Probably know what those are, so I'll leave those for later. I actually haven't got them in a while. Really surprised to see this. My One of my favorite uh, teas, Celestial Seasonings Raspberry Zinger. This stuff is super, super good. Um, yeah, it's just really good. Also, they don't, you know, this is like three or four dollars at the store. You know, there's six, 20 tea bags. When you get the multi-pack, I guarantee I could go into uh, Ralph's right now or Vaughn's or whatever. And, or Fred Meyer, if you're 
somewhere far away and uh, pick up one of these for three fifty. You know, go to your store. Go to your store. Look for Celestial Seasonings Tea, twenty bags. Tell me how much it costs. I guarantee it's over two fifty. It's between two fifty and three fifty for this. You know, kills me. And with that money that I saved, I bought some real raspberries. Let's try these. These are some freaking huge. I mean, look at this fucking raspberry. Like, look at my thumb. This raspberry is like as big as the top of my thumb. Mm. And you know, they kind of taste like meat and raspberries. But, but I don't know, you know. I don't think I'm going to die of eating mutant raspberries. They might be GMO. I wish all food was not GMO, but they're kind of big. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck they're feeding them in Mexico, but these are like, these are probably the biggest group of raspberries I've ever seen. And unless they just sort them so that on average they're bigger, you know, maybe they sell all the small ones to Mexico and all the big ones go to America, but I don't know how you get raspberries that huge. It's really ginormous. <clears throat> Café, por supuesto. Technically, espresso doble. Café. Más café. Los dos, taster's choice. Medio, negro, and osculo? Light? Hmm, maybe osculo. 50% más en cada... Oh, don't know how to say packet. I was going to say paqueta, but that's probably wrong. Packet, packet. I don't know how to say packet. And since I was <clears throat> really having a cranberry fix, and I figured these are harder to eat than the other ones, I actually got some real cranberries. Um, I almost never buy them. They're kind of bitter, but uh, they're packed with fruit, nutrients. See, hoopals? Look at all this stuff, hoopals. See, we got hoopals berries, more hoopals berries, hoople fruit. Some hoople corn tortillas, which are much better than like corn chips because there's no like barely any salt in those, I don't think. Hoople's cranberries, those, those might not be as good. Hoople tea, hoople beans. Um, these are some bad snacks. Let's see, we got bad carbs, medium carbs, bad snacks, bad snacks, bad snacks, bad cereal. Um, of course, we have our Sour Patch Watermelon this time. Couldn't find the regular ones, of course, because they never have it. Uh, man, if I could just go there in a week when they have my candy and my coffee, it would be a goddamn miracle. But they just... All the things in that store, they can't have two products that I like every week. It drives me insane. And last but not least... We got some barbecue sauce. Now, there's something really special about this barbecue sauce. Um, it's not the fact that it's hickory smoke, although that's kind of cool. But look at this. No high fructose corn syrup. They had some bullseye in there, and the bullseye, first ingredient, high fructose corn syrup. What's the first ingredient in this? Tomato puree. What's in tomato puree? Water and tomato paste. That makes sense. That's how you usually make it. What's the next ingredient? Sugar, vinegar, molasses, salt, and then less, less than 2% of the following... Food starch, that's fine. Hickory smoke flavor, natural hickory smoke flavor, that's fine. Mustard flour, that's normal. Dried onions, okay. Spice, yeah, Net organic enough. I don't think it's synthetic spice. Although, who knows, maybe they put 51%, you know, 48% synthetic with 52% regular spice. You can call it normal spice because it's mostly normal spice. The food industry is really bad about stuff like that. Dried garlic, potassium sorbative to prefer freshness. So, Unless you got an issue with potassium sorbate or spice, um, this Kraft Foods is pretty real stuff. You know, I I appreciate when companies make real products because corn syrup. Look, if if you learn nothing else from this video, if it's not about cranberries or about blueberries or about coffee or macaroni or how good that tea is, corn syrup barbecue sauce is not the same. Okay. And it's funny, I actually just got a recipe from my mom, who got it from my uncle, who's like a man's man. My dad's a man's man, but my uncle's a man's man in like different ways. So anyways, my uncle makes, um, has a barbecue sauce recipe, which is super simple. It's like ketchup, vinegar, water, 
liquid smoke, garlic salt, and like something like almost identical to this actually, ironically. Um, so yeah, that is, and I think I had some, oh yeah, got some donuts from my favorite lady. I think today was uh, eight giant donuts. Sometimes it's like 10 small donuts, sometimes it's eight big ones. I guess they have trouble keeping their donut holes the same size, but <laughs> you know, that's the, that's the magic. So it was like 25 bucks. How many meals did we get today? We got, I'm going to call the berries one meal, two, three, four, five, six, maybe five, um, six, seven, kind of make that like eight, nine, calorie wise, nine anyways. So yeah, like nine meals plus kind of a couple other things like you know, coffee doesn't count as a meal. Barbecue sauce doesn't count as a meal. So, you figure like 21 bucks, 22 bucks for nine things. It's like two, two and three, you know, like $2.33 for kind of meal-ish type stuff. So, that's like two and a third things per meal. Um, now, granted, I eat about two or three meals a day on average, so... You know, this is sort of, if it's nine meals, it's kind of like three days worth of food. But what we do to bolster that, oh, I can't, I can't even show you my fridge. I, my fridge is so empty right now. I can't show you. Even my cabinet's empty. Got to put some dishes in here. But like, you know, like some refried beans. How do we do it on the oatmeal? Oh, running low on oatmeal, but that's all right. I'm really... God, I should finish like one of these. Like if you want to, let me tell you, second second lesson. The first lesson is uh, barbecue sauce, you got to get sugar. The second lesson, if you could eat a box of this, right? If you can eat one package of this every month, your life will be better, all right? You have more energy, um, you'll be healthier, your energy will last longer during the day, your mood will be more even because your insulin levels aren't going to, you know, I'm not a doctor, but generally speaking, one of the reasons they don't want like kids and stuff to be eating stuff like this, like this delicious chocolate orange that I got for Christmas. Ooh, look at that. Look at that fake orange goodness, right? So, if you eat more of this and less of this once a month, um, I promise you'll be feeling better. And just to make, you know, to make your oatmeal a little bit nicer, just a touch of salt. Um, you can throw in a touch of sugar, it really doesn't need it. I used to like to use fruit and other stuff, but a touch of salt, touch of butter, a little bit of brown sugar, um, and then some fruit, you know, some cranberries, some banana. Um, like old banana, it's about to go, really good. Raspberries, fruit, apple. Um, you want to do something even nicer. Put the apple or raspberry or whatever in the water. Add like just a little bit more water. Oh, I thought I dropped it in the sink. Add just a little bit more water. Let the fruit infuse with the water for like three or four minutes after it's boiling. Then add your oats and you'll have a lot more, um, a lot better marriage in the flavors between the oatmeal, the water and the whatever you add. So. Free cooking tip. Oatmeal. Alright guys, well, guys and girls, and however many pronouns there are, there are a lot of pronouns out there. I'm not going to list all of them, but maybe i just say guys, gals, and other pronouns. Maybe that works. I'm done with the food video and put all this stuff away. And then, then we're going to talk about what's in this bag. Oh, what is in this bag? We're gonna, we're gonna pull out one secret item, all right? What do we got here? I'm getting chocolate over it, I'm sure, but one secret item from Big Five. So stay tuned for the Big Five secret item bag. And uh, thanks for watching. It's been kind of a long food video, but you know, food's really important. Um, you'll notice that a lot of my things don't require refrigeration. So let's get all the refrigerated stuff. Oh. Now, when you're when you're busy, just grab that big old honking foot. Oh, 
Throw that stuff in the fridge, no big deal. If you're not used to using your foot, now see this one, I'm tall, but that one's a little bit hard for me. I'm not super flexible. I'll, I'll pull my groin or something. I try to pull a back muscle. I try to do crazy, crazy uh, open the fridge with my foot stuff. All right, let's throw these tortillas in the fridge. What else we got? Cranberries, raspberries. Yeah, I don't really want to refrigerate those. Although, yeah, I think that's going to ruin them. Maybe, no, maybe a cup, maybe one of them. Put them in the crisper. So, so I'm going to get the rest of this stuff put away. Like, comment, subscribe, and we will come back for Big Five Mystery Bag.